India's indigenous long-range air defense program, Project Kusha, has evolved into a full tri-service shield as the IAF, Navy and Army move toward joint adoption. Backed by a rupees 21,700 crore approval, Kusha's M1, M2, and M3 interceptors promise coverage up to 350 kilometers. The IAF plans five squadrons, the Navy is advancing a ship-launched M2, and the Army is exploring mobile variants. With trials starting late 2025, Kusha marks a major leap in India's next-gen air defense architecture. India is on the verge of sealing nearly $450 million in BrahMos missile export deals, driven by global demand after the weapon's stellar performance during Operation Sindor. Nations like Indonesia and Vietnam are in advance talks for coastal batteries and support packages, surpassing the earlier Philippines contract. The precision strikes on Pakistani airbases showcase BrahMos combat credibility, boosting India's defense exports to record highs. As negotiations conclude, BrahMos strengthens India's role as a rising security provider worldwide. On the 17th anniversary of the 2611 Mumbai attacks, President Draupadi Murmu and Home Minister Amit Shah paid heartfelt tributes, reaffirming India's zero-tolerance stance on terrorism. At the Gateway of India, the NSG's never-ever memorial honors fallen heroes, survivors and victims through pledges, floral tributes, and a symbolic wax living memorial. Students across Mumbai joined the commitment to vigilance and peace. The evening culminates with the monument lit in tricolor, echoing India's enduring spirit of unity and resilience. India has begun testing CNAP, a new Adhar-linked caller ID system designed to verify identities and curb rising spam and fraud. Unlike crowdsourced apps, CNAP displays the official ADHA registered name before switching to your saved contact label. Telecom operators are running pilots across select regions as authorities closely review privacy and data security safeguards. If approved, this system could reshape caller identification nationwide, enhancing trust, transparency, and overall communication safety. India's air combat edge is set for a major leap, as the IAF and DRDO push ahead with next-generation Astra Air 2 air missiles. The Astra MK2 with a 200km reach enters production next year, while the ramjet-powered MK3 promises 350 plus kilometers by 2028. Talks now focus on revolutionary triple-pulse rocket motors that could extend future variants beyond 400 kilometers. With enhanced seekers, propulsion, and indigenous manufacturing, India aims to dominate long-range BVR warfare with unmatched precision and endurance. India's next-generation future-ready combat vehicle is being engineered as a drone-proof armored fortress, integrating advanced anti-UAV systems from inception. Designed to replace the T-72 fleet from 2030, this DRDO-led, rupees 60,000 crore program features 360-degree sensors, gallium nitride AESA radars, electronic jammers, and kinetic drone interceptors. With AI-driven autonomy, 1,500 horsepower engines, and hybrid propulsion, the FRCV aims to dominate modern battlefields where drone swarms dictate survival. Prototype rollout is targeted for 2028, marking a major leap in India's armored warfare. In a major strategic move, India has issued a large notum over the Bay of Bengal from December 6 to 8, signaling a likely test of a long-range ballistic missile, possibly the Agni-6 or Agni-5. Though the warning covers 1,400 kilometers, the missile's actual range could span thousands more, reinforcing India's nuclear deterrent and second strike capability. This high-stakes test underscores New Delhi's commitment to modernizing its strategic arsenal and sending a clear message to regional rivals. High in Ladakh's unforgiving terrain, India's Air Orca UAV is rewriting the rules of logistics. Built by Adisa startup Bonvi Aero, the drone set a world record at Umling La and now powers army resupply missions across 14,000 to 17,000 feet. 
After a landmark 60 kilometers beyond visual line of sight trial, the Air Orca is poised to support civilians in snowbound Zansker, Nubra, and Chongtang, delivering food, medicine, and emergency aid. A dual-use framework now aims to make year-round connectivity a reality. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.